Welcome to our new channel, Future Digital. This is a unique channel dealing with cryptocurrencies and all the technology and seemingly useless jargon that goes with it. But why is it unique? Because I do not know a thing about cryptocurrencies. This is a rare opportunity for you because if you're like me, then you don't know anything about it either. We're going to change that together. Every episode of Future Digital will explore something new about cryptocurrencies and, after a while, you and I both are going to be experts on the subject. For example, if I said a sentence with words like blockchain, P2P, decentralized, ETF, NFT, STD, hot wallet, cold wallet, Bitcoin, Dogecoin or Dodgeball coin or however you pronounce it, you'd look at me like I looked at Twitter the first time I saw it. Nothing but meaningless symbols and acronyms. Here's how it will work. We'll learn the crypto vernacular together at a nice, easy pace, and every episode we'll buy a cryptocurrency together or follow up on how it's doing. We'll explore some of the more popular apps for buying cryptocurrencies and so on. Let's get started. What is a cryptocurrency? First, we need to explain what a currency is. Dollars, euros, you know what these are. Currencies exist basically to serve as a common denominator for everything that has value. If I want to trade you a cucumber for a cookie, how do we both know if it's a fair trade? That both items have relatively equal value. Well, that's super easy. We value it using currency. That cucumber might be worth half a dollar, and the cookie might be worth two dollars. So that means four cucumbers are worth one cookie. But who decides that the cookie is worth more than the cucumber? We do. People. A lot of economists might disagree with this, but all currencies, all economics, all of it, is based on human emotion. How we feel about that cookie determines how much we're willing to trade for it, and we use a currency to sort of translate that value to cucumbers. Who is in charge of currencies? The governments of the world issue their own currencies, and the value of the dollar compared to the euro might change from day to day or even hour to hour based on how people feel about their values. Now, cryptocurrencies, these are not issued by governments. They are independently created, or what we should actually call decentralized. Governments have basically no control over cryptocurrencies, and neither do banks. So who does? Well, a cryptocurrency can only have value if that value is recorded. And while cryptocurrencies are decentralized, they still have to be regulated, right? There still needs to be some sort of central authority. Uh, yes and no. Cryptocurrencies are regulated by something called blockchain, which basically is just a modern form of encryption. Blockchain is nearly impossible to hack, so using blockchain technology enables cryptocurrencies to exist in the first place. But we'll talk about blockchain a lot more, but later on. Right now, you just need to remember that term. Dollars and euros exist both digitally and physically. You can put dollars or euros in your pocket, or you have your bank card to use dollars digitally. You never actually touch any real money. Or if you're in America, you might use a form of technology from the 1700s called a personal check. Basically an IOU. So you have to trust the bank that gives you your checks just like the bank has to trust you not to spend money you don't have. Trust, by the way, is a human emotion or feeling. You see where I'm going with that? Cryptocurrencies don't exist in the physical world. They're not based on the value of gold or what's called the gold standard. How then do they have value? Well, like I said earlier, they have value because people feel that they have value. It's actually pretty stupid if you think about it, but then again, so is economic inequality. People are poor because we feel that their work has less dollar value? Now the next thing you're probably wanting to know is, who the hell am I? Where am I? And why am I doing this? I know the answer to two of these questions. I'm kidding, of course. My name is Stuart, and I'm American. But I have lived for well over 20 years in a pretty small country in Northern Europe. Which country? Estonia, of course. Arguably the crypto capital of the world. I call it that because Estonia has over 400 licensed crypto companies, which is more than all the rest of the European Union combined. And the third question, why am I doing this? 
Well, I'm like you. I want to stay modern in our ever-evolving society. I have to give you a disclaimer, though. As I said at the beginning, I don't know anything about cryptocurrencies. Actually, that's no longer true. We've learned basically what they are. But I'm not a financial advisor, so if you want financial help, you should contact a professional. Think of me as more of a fun and friendly guy to learn about cryptocurrencies with. And that's it for our very first episode of Future Digital. If you liked what you've just seen, then make sure to like the video as well, and of course, subscribe to our channel. In our next episode, we'll learn some more about the new world of cryptocurrencies, and we will make our very first purchase of a cryptocurrency. Which one will it be? Bitcoin? Dodgeball coin? Ethereum? Something else? Come back and find out.